we care about silver and gold markets here. And a lot of our people, our audience is waiting for that pivot. We think that as soon as the Fed makes that pause in raising interest rates and maybe pivots back to lower rates, that might be the trigger for gold and silver to finally launch to new all-time highs. Have you given any thought to that or uh, in terms of what might be the next trigger for the gold and silver markets? I think so. I think basically we've been in this environment of, at least relatively speaking, a strong dollar. Uh, the market, the funny thing is the Federal Reserve has lost a lot of credibility, but the market still seemed to think uh, they're going to keep tightening policy. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of economists and, and banks and, and analysts and things like that, their their models only go back a few decades. And so they say, look, there's inflation. They have to tighten until there's not inflation anymore. So of course they're going to do that. Uh, whereas they don't look back further to the last time sovereign debts and overall debt as a percentage of GDP, public and private, were this high, and they don't run the math on, you know, what is what does positive real rates mean uh, when debt levels are this high? Uh, and so I think that you know the Fed's going to tighten until something breaks, but their ability to quote unquote normalize rates, meaning get to a, back to a period of structurally positive real rates, is almost impossible. And I think that when they are, you know, they're they're unable to keep tightening into a weakening economy, and the market realizes that. I do think that hard assets uh, are going to have a bid, and especially you know uh, ones whose margins are not threatened, right? So in, in equities, the problem is you have margin pressure. Stagflation environments uh, are not great for many types of stocks because they have margin pressure. Whereas gold and silver, they don't have profit margins, right? They're, they're scarce stores of value, and so that's the type of environment. A stagflation environment is where you generally get the biggest gap in terms of performance between those store of value assets and something that actually has a profit margin. And then you can also lump in things like, you know, commodities producers and and certain other types of, of harder assets in the mix of things that I think would do pretty well if, if they're forced to back off tightening in response to a weakening economy. Do you, have, do you have any sort of predictions that you're making for your subscribers about how many more rate hikes are likely before this, we go off the, we go off the rails here? Um, so I'm looking more at what, what to watch rather than exactly where it breaks. And so I think what to watch is treasury market and credit market. So a lot of people, you know, they ask the question, how much further down does the S&P 500 have to go before they pivot? And I think that's the wrong question. I think it's it's what happens with, with you know, various types of bond markets, especially treasury and credit markets, as well as repo. But I think that's not going to be the issue this time. Basically, all those different financial plumbing things, if you get a freeze in those, they're basically forced to step back or if you get a, a prolonged recession. Uh, and so I, currently I'm looking around the end of the year as a time when they might have to uh, either pause or pivot. Uh, there, I know there are some analysts that are predicting even sooner than that, which would not surprise me. Um, I, I try to, in general, have conservative estimates. And so I, I think they're going to push as far as they can. And so right now I'm kind of looking at, at towards the, you know, by the end of the year, uh, I'd be surprised if they're, they're still able to continue hiking into 2023. What you know? Do you do you give advice to your subscribers um, or your audience as to where they should be positioning themselves right now for this crisis or what's coming? Yeah, I make a number of, of uh, you know I do analysis on different types of asset classes or individual securities. I also provide model portfolios and I share what I'm doing. Uh, and so I'm I'm tilted towards hard assets and value. So I like energy. I like energy pipelines. I like healthcare stocks. Uh, kind of that dividend type of stock in general. <laughs> there are select technology companies that I like, but they're generally a smaller percentage of the portfolio. Uh, I'm invested in gold, silver, Bitcoin, basically different types of, of scarce monies in contrast to what's happening with currency supply uh, and just, you know, different types of commodity producers in general. Uh, some global equities, generally, again, on the value side. And then I have a, uh, you know, kind of a decent cash position because right now we're in this period of central banks tr- trying to push back. And so their, you know, their number one goal right now is to bring down asset prices. This is something I've been identifying since the beginning of the year. And so, you know, even I, I often joke that cash is the one speculative asset that I own because it's the one thing that I know is going to go down over time that I still like to hold some in case it goes up briefly for periods of time to kind of rebalance into the things I actually want to own. Uh, and so I think it's an environment of overall defensiveness um, until we get some sort of pivot. So, Lynn, a big part of uh, macro discussion is focused on inflation, but what's your take on potential real growth going forward? I, I think overall this decade is going to be one of, of pretty low real growth. I mean, right now we're in a decelerating economic environment. So quarter one was poor, quarter two is pretty poor, and I think that's likely to continue for a period of time. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, as we stretch further than that, uh, as we go kind of later into this decade, I think that's going to continue to be an issue. Uh, I think right now we're kind of working through so many supply side issues uh, that, you know, that's going to impact negatively real growth. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know. But I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave. You forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.